Hey guys, just want to give you all an update on my Traxxas X-Max. I've owned it for a year, I've done lots of bashing with it, so I'm going to throw in my pros and cons. And, uh, yeah. It's an awesome truck. It's really big. Some people that don't own it don't understand how big it is. Uh, so most people own a Traxxas Rustler. So you can see there just how big it is compared to a Rustler. I've owned it for one year, done lots of bashing with it, and I have had zero issues out of this truck. It just, uh, it takes everything I throw at it, turns around and smiles and says, bring it on, pussy. Because, uh, I've done a lot with this truck, more than what I have video of, and it's just an awesome truck. I have done a few modifications to it. I have the Castle XL2 ESC, and I put Castle 6.5 millimeter bullet plugs on it. I have the Castle Dual Fan upgrade uh, that's actually for the uh, one fifth scale castle motor for the HPI Baja I just cut the sides of it off and zip tied it to this upper chassis brace I installed a Savox or not a Savox a uh, Spectrum receiver I use my DX4C getting rid of the Traxxas receiver I lost the ability to put telemetry on it and I also lost the self writing feature that doesn't really mean anything to me. Uh, I don't mind walking over there to flip my truck over. And the way the self writing works, it could actually damage the truck because of the torque. Uh, but, I mean, it's whatever. And uh, I still have the stock VXL 6S ESC. I actually ordered the XL2 ESC before I even owned the truck. Uh, because I knew I was going to get the truck and I knew I was going to replace the ESC because people were known, uh, the truck was known for catching on fire. I've sent this in, it's got all the latest updates and everything, but Trax has just released a couple of days ago the new 8S Power Up Upgrade Kit for this X-Max. I'm going to be get that, getting that in the next uh, couple months. Comes with new gears, uh, new... Uh, clutch and drive shafts, wheelie bar, ESC, motor fans, all kinds of cool stuff. So I'm definitely going to get that kit and uh, see how good it is. But I'm sure it's pretty good. It looks like a strong kit. When I got the truck, before I even ran it, I did lots of research on it. And people were putting on the forums and on Facebook that the differential spider gears came with no oil. And then the ring and pinion gears came with no grease. That was true, so I ended up taking them apart and putting oil in the diffs and then grease on the ring and pinion gears. This truck's real easy to work on, real user friendly. Uh, also, right after I got the truck, I immediately upgraded the Team Fast Eddy bearings. I use Fast Eddy bearings in every vehicle I have that they're available for, and I, I've only had one failure in the past uh, seven years or so. So they're, they're really good bearings. Uh, good guy also. And uh, that's about it. Uh, I beat on this truck pretty hard. If you haven't seen my videos, please go check them out. Um, like them, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And uh, this will probably be my last video of 2016. Hopefully you're a subscriber and you've been following me and watching my videos and the progress I've made with uh, my rustler and the speed runs I'm doing uh, a bunch of budget builds also if you have a Facebook page please go to Average Joe's RC like that page there's lots of cool tips and tricks on there for RC I run that page and um, yeah I've had a lot of fun this year with RC I have fun all the time with RC. It don't matter what year it is, really. I could be having a horrible year or a horrible day, play with an RC truck, and it usually makes my day better. I love RC. I hope you love RC. 
And I hope you all have a great new year. Thanks for watching. Please comment and subscribe.